Oh, did I say that? Yeah, That's very good. That, that was spot on that day. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I think it's... I mean, the point about a blog... I think there's lots of points, but one, one of the points is it's got to engage with things. It's got to, you know, if, if you're going to write a judicious um, account of, you know, your contribution to a particular controversy, you don't do it on a blog, you know. You, know, you think about it and you do it you know, in the calm at a certain distance. A blog is about immediacy, and it's about daring sometimes to say things that you probably, you know, might have changed your mind about in a week or so. Um, and I think it, but I think it's part of the function is that it gets people into some of those debates. Or you know, often I'm interested in getting them into debates about um, things to do with the academy that that you can make an instant, you know, not a stupid, but a kind of quick response to. I mean, there's a huge amount of debate in the UK at the moment about um, student tuition fees. Um, there's also always, always, you know, a huge amount of debate about Oxford and Cambridge and their admission system, right? Who do we let in, you know? Um, and sometimes I think it's, it's, you know, to show one's anger just occasionally a bit is, is a good idea, you know, and then and to annoy other people, well, I've certainly done that. I mean, I think there was recently in the the perennial, the absolutely perennial, um, you know, Oxbridge admissions are unfair um, discussion, which in some ways, structurally, they clearly are. You know, no, no one's saying that the university system in the UK, least of all like in Cambridge are perfect, that's certainly true. But you know, when you 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 know, hear the, the latest kind of newspaper account or televised interview by um well meaning politician who says, Look, I have just discovered that, you know, only X percent of um of uh students in Oxbridge come from the north. Right. Um, and you know this is terrible because it must mean that Oxford and Cambridge dons have an implicit bias against people from the north, and they don't want to. You know, and you sit there and you just spent the last day touring schools in the north, and you think you guy have just undone the good work I've done, right? You know, I have gone round like my friends. We're going and doing this um, because we also think this is a problem. But to have some well-known politician then say Oxbridge is biased against people from the north, you know, all that does is is put off the people you've just been encouraging to apply, you know, and to to make people or to encourage people to see that you know there are real people involved in this. You know, Oxbridge admissions is not some kind of sort of monolith. You know, it's people like me who's actually getting on a train one morning and going up wherever we go, you know, talking to kids, coming back, spending a day doing it, and then some bugger goes and undoes the good work. And so I think there's a sort of sense of of, of intervening, helping people see it from a different point of view. But it does, you know, will sometimes make it people cross. But, you know. I don't mind making people.